Hello everyone, so in this video we will be covering our out of the box solution for an Upwork like loan or a freelancer's marketplace which is by the name of CTM Connects. So as you can see this is the landing page of the CTM Connects website. So this is something that we had done for one of our clients and this is what we had delivered to them. So let's just get started. So over here we, so basically the concept for this particular platform is that an, indiv an individual can either hire a contractor or can work as a contractor. So based upon the requirements, both the options are available to the customer and they can you know just perform the operations accordingly. So for example, I'm a customer and I want to hire a contractor. So I'll just click on this particular option and once I do that, I'll have to sign up on the platform. So on sign up, we have two different uh, options available, two different social media signups available, it's Facebook and LinkedIn. But if you want to integrate with Gmail or Instagram, then that is also possible. So I already have an account, so I'll just click on login. And once I do that, I'll have to select uh, whether it's going to be Facebook login or LinkedIn or you know some uh, another username that I had created manually. So I'll just select Facebook. And once I do that, I can see that I have already logged in uh, to the dashboard. So my profile is Pavneet, and uh, I'm a customer, and I'm actually looking to hire a, a contractor. So this is the dashboard for the customer when they want to hire a contractor. So over here you have the dashboard where you can just see all the projects that have been uh, selected by you then you have different professionals who are available and you know uh, who actually you have hired then you have all the projects listed over here which you had uh, you know just got done from this particular website then you have timesheet which is again a very important feature to have all together where you can just manage uh, the complete timestamps and then you have reports so basically all the reports uh, would be available for the customer to analyze the project whether you know the project is on track or whether you know the project is delayed or there is some issue so based on these reports the customer would be uh, you know just able to analyze everything so these are the different options available and over here we have the option of messages so basically a contractor can have a direct conversation with the customer uh, on this particular panel so all the messages would pop up over here and then you have different notifications which would be shown to the customer under this particular section. So that's uh, how the dashboard looks like. And under the profile option, I have different uh, sub options available. So first you have my profile. So I can just manage my profile from here. Then you have uh, post a job. So if, if I'm looking to hire a contractor, uh, I'll have to post a job based on which uh, the contractor would actually contact me. So whether it's going to be you know a contractor or whether it's going to be a company or uh, employees, so these are the two options available based on which you can do the hiring. For example, I do you know, contractor, so I can you know just uh, select the job category whether it's related to application development or healthcare, and I can post that job. Uh, what how would you like to pay? What is your suggestedly suggested hourly rate? What is your desired experience level? Based on that, you can just you know post the complete job. And the second one is company, company employee. So basically you can just hire them on a monthly basis and pay them a, a fixed cost uh, depending upon what they are offering. Next we have payment. So you'll have to add your card in order to make the payment. So that's pretty obvious. Next you have feedback. So all the feedback would pop up over here. Right now I have, to, I have no projects available so that's why there is no feedback. Then you have managers. So you can just add new managers who would be taking care of the business for you. So obviously you as an admin, you won't have the time to manage everything by your own, right? So you would need some managers who can just do the work for you and you can just add those managers from here. Uh, then you have issues. So all the issues, if you have any issues, you can just you know push that issue over here and that would be shown to your uh, contractor. And then the last option is for the log -up. So this is how uh, you know a customer can hire a contractor. Thank you. So in this video, we will be covering how an individual can work as a contractor. So in the previous video, we, we had covered how a customer can hire a contractor. Now we'll just cover the remaining section of the CTM Connects website. But before that, let's just go through the, uh, the landing page of this particular website so that you have a good understanding of how it looks like and how everything is working. So over here you see two options, either you can hire a contractor or either you can become a contractor. And then uh, you know below you have different top categories which are available on your website, whether it's app development, whether it's healthcare communication. 
and then you have a complete, pro a complete process which is specified on the website so that the customer is aware about how it works where you will have to find a contractor, hire it, hire him and then you know get the work done and then eventually you will have to make the payment. Here you have some of the top professionals and then below uh, at the bottom you have some of the you know top skills available on our website. So uh, for hiring a contractor we have two different options you can either hire them on a contract basis or either you can just hire them full time. So that's how you know the landing page looks like and now we'll cover how you can work as a contractor. So I'll just click on work and once I do that I again ha uh, have to sign up on the platform as a contractor but I've already logged in as a contractor so I'll just click on login and these are the credentials uh, for the contractor and just click on login over here and once I do that uh, I'll be able to see different uh, you know uh, you know jobs that are available or maybe different uh, you know uh, rules that are available for me so that I can apply accordingly so these rules would pop up based upon the information that I'm specifying uh, you know uh, during the sign up process so I can just apply for these roles and then the customer would be able to reach out to me for these different roles whether I can apply it for web designer or graphic designer or retoucher everything so uh, you know that's how this particular option works so right now my email has not been verified by the admin so that's why uh, I'm not able to apply for role but once the admin approves that particular contractor the contractor would be you know just able to receive the request uh, from the customer based upon their uh, roles so over here I can you know just specify different keywords and based on that I can just check for different roles which are available and then you have different skill sets option available different categories so we can apply these filters and get the desired roles for for ourselves you know if you are a contractor then over here you have the dashboard so basically uh, this this dashboard is for the contractor to analyze how the project is going whether it's in progress whether it's you know under the completed projects bucket what are the invoices that has been raised and you know this would definitely help the contractor analyze how the business is going what are the total earnings you know how many projects have been completed how many are in progress and how many applications he has received then you have the my projects bucket again all the uh, projects which are done by the cost uh, by the contractor would pop up over here then you have the timesheet uh, bucket so right now we don't have any projects for these timesheets and then you have reports so again these reports are pretty important in any kind of business since they help you analyze how the business is going right so you can just apply different filters over here and you can analyze the, you know analyze different projects you can even check the project reports over here once you're having any projects so right now we don't have any projects so that's why it says no records found then you have the chart option uh, the notification section and then over here I can just manage all my you know uh, prof I can manage my profile so I have some saved jobs that I can you know definitely save right now we don't have any saved jobs we have the payment option uh, then you have the settings option so over here I can just you know secure my password and you know I can just manage some general settings and then we have the issues so I can post all the issues over here related to the job and then that would be received by the admin so that's how uh, you know the panel looks like for the contractor and he can just manage everything from this particular panel itself thank you